In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create 3D objects from scratch using Python in Blender. It's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by going into Edit, Preferences, Interface, and then enable Developer Extras, and then press A, then X to delete everything, and then press Shift A and add a plane, and then press Tab for Edit Mode, and then under the overlay settings, we can enable the display of the vertex indices. And as you can see, we have the small blue numbers next to the vertices. And we're going to recreate them in uh, Python and then connect them all together. And uh, this also allows us to set the coordinates for each of the uh, vertices. And to make it less confusing, I'm going to grab the plane one unit on the x-axis and then one unit on the y-axis and then when we uh, click on each of the vertices and then press N and there we have the uh, coordinates so vertex 0 is on the coordinate 0, 0, 0 and then number 1 is uh, 2 units away from it on the x-axis and then number 2 is two units away from it on the y-axis and then number three is uh, two units away from vertex zero both on the x and y-axis okay so uh, now we can recreate this in python so uh, let's open a new script and i'm going to increase the font size because the text is quite small so i'm going to set it to 18 so that you can read what I'm writing, and then we can hide the sidebar. Okay, so let's start off by importing BBY, which is the Blender module. And then next, we're going to define the uh, vertices. So uh, the coordinates of the first one is going to be 0, 0, 0 on the x, y, and z axis. And then the second one is going to be 0, 2, 0, so two units on the y axis, and then 2, 2, 0. So two units both on the x and y axis. And then two, zero, zero, which is uh, two units on the x axis. And then next, we're going to define the faces. And for a plane, we only need one face. So uh, this one is going to connect vertex one, two, and three, which are the uh, vertices above. And then next, we need to define a mesh for the vertices and the face above. So uh, mesh equals bpy.data.meshes.new. And then inside the parentheses, we can give the object a name. So I'm just going to call it plain. And then in the next line, we're going to define the object for that mesh. So object equals bby.data.objects.new and then refer to the mesh with the same name. And then next, before I finish the script, I'm just going to save the project. So you can save it wherever you want on the computer and then call it wherever you want. And then next, we need to link the object to a collection so that the object will appear in the viewport. And then next, we will create the mesh. So uh, by combining the vertices and the face, we create the mesh. And when we run the script, you can see that we have the plane. Okay, so to create a square pyramid, we just need to add an additional vertex with some additional faces as well. So uh, add another vertex. And this one is going to have the uh, coordinates 1, 1, so that it's in the middle. And then for the z-axis, it's going to be 3. And then we need to uh, add some faces for all of these uh, new connections. So we need uh, four new faces so that the um, other vertices are connected to this uh, new vertex. As you can see, we now have a square pyramid. And then next, we're going to add a cube. And for this, 
we need a, a few more vertices and faces. So let's delete the uh, square pyramid. And then we can remove the uh, vertex that we added for the pyramid and replace it with uh, four new vertices that we need to uh, form a uh, cube. So we have eight vertices in total, and each of these faces has four connections, because that's the nature of a, a cube. So uh, you can uh, connect all of them, and uh, that gives us these faces. And then let's save before we run the scripts. So I just press Control Shift S, and then save. And then to avoid some errors, I'm also going to add an update line to the script. Just calculate edges equals true. And then when we run the script, you can see that we have the cube. Now, if you want to change the spawning location of the cube, we can also add a line for that. So object.location. And then you just set the coordinates. So uh, I'm going to set it to uh, five units up on the z-axis, for example. And then we can run the uh, script. And as you can see, we have the object above. And that's it for this tutorial. And I just released an add-on development course to make it easier for you guys to develop your own add-ons. And you will learn how to develop add-ons with input values, as well as uh, buttons with custom objects. Next, you're going to uh, learn how to import CSV and text files into Blender to create uh, visualizations and uh, so on. And this one has the data animated year to year. And then you will also learn how to uh, write add-ons with uh, multiple scripts and then connect them all together. I'm also going to teach you how to uh, make drop-down menus like this one. And I will also show you how to use uh, custom icons and add them to your add-on. And then at the end of the course, you will use everything that you have learned to create a, a complex music visualization add-on. And I'm going to show you the workflow to uh, develop more complex add-ons like this one. And you will get all this and uh, much more for a very decent price. And at the end of the course, I'm sure you will know how to uh, develop your own add-ons. So uh, make sure to check it out on Blender Market and uh, Gimroad. And I see you there.